Hey, 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 Robroski here, and today we have a brand new speed build called Mid Modern. Now, I just, I recently got um, the brand new Sims 4 Get Together. I actually really like this expansion pack. It comes with so many build items, and I really wanted to focus on more of the modern aspects of all the build items because there are so many Tudor houses on the gallery and Tudor houses that people have made. And I just think that. I because the modern items that they did put into this game are really awesome and they look so good. So here I made a starter home too. So it's I believe it's about nineteen thousand four hundred simoleons. So it gives you like five hundred dollars extra if you're just one person, two people. I think it's you get like twenty two thousand for starter money. So you can get more money. And of course, what makes it really expensive is that little pool that I added in there. So if you take out the pool, it's pretty darn cheap house um, so yeah so I like how I did this kind of split level pool thing here with the little I put a little walkway around I thought it looked cool really see as you can see there that's some of the new modern items that wallpaper that they put in this build I really like that wood texture use those tiles so it looked pretty cool on the outside I really like this new gate that comes with it too it's kind of see-through and it's not it's more like focused like just glass and it's not really like there's not a lot of pillars put those cool windows in there kinda show that it's front I also I'm so excited about those plants those plants that go up against the wall oh my gosh those are so awesome they just it's so much easier to put plants on the wall now and actually make it look good so you don't have to do the nine key and all this crazy stuff adding some big eight windows in there so you can get up onto that nice balcony where it's where at from your bedroom and this is a very small home there's no living like proper living room inside it's just a kitchen bathroom and then there's like a studio bedroom up here um yeah it's kind of meant for someone who just like i put some seats outside though like they like to be outside more and they just kind of want to go out on the town maybe because that's the whole point of get together kind of um club ideal going out clubbing going to a nightclub going coffee in the morning, just hanging out and socializing with other sims, so just made the house kind of simple because I feel like they wouldn't really spend too much time here, and they could, if they wanted to, they could host a party outside, and yeah, um, I tried to, I wanted to add a DJ booth into this, make it like a DJ spar starter, but the DJ booths are pretty expensive, and it put so many decorations in it that it wasn't really possible, yeah, I just think... I really liked how there's lots of decorations because most starter homes are very blank and they don't look very good. So I like tried to fill it up with decorations. Um, putting in a new, put those rugs in over there. They're supposed to be stone, but I thought those were kind of like maybe organic weaved rugs. I have no idea. Just like some fancy type of uh, fabric material rug. Um, I was going to put that in there. I change it and I make, put a little smaller coffee thing in here. Um, just, yeah. Comes some really cool items. That's a light, actually, and I thought it was kind of a cool design. Just like a little painting. Getting those cheap, cheap countertops in there. I really like the bar stool that came with this, too. Those bar stools are very, they're kind of industrial, but they're a little more modern than industrial. Um, I think those nice beamer lights. Well, not, those aren't the beamer ones, but those are nice bright lights. This house is um, base game and only get together one expansion pack. I really want to try to make it look like less expansion pack, so if you got get together, then you can buy this house. That coffee thing that I just put down, that's a coffee grinder, and it's not a coffee machine. I thought it was a cool coffee machine, but it's not, so in the end, I get rid of it and I put in a regular coffee machine. You'll see in the screenshots the actual coffee machine that I put in here adding the staircase right there and yes the sims they can get everywhere around this house I checked that had to move the bookcase up there you'll see in a little bit um, putting that other coffee kind of supply stuff over there just add a little more decor decor um, spoon fork giant spoon and fork up here here you can see I was gonna do that but that didn't really I didn't think that looked all that great it's kind of expensive too so, um, I put this bookshelf in. That bookshelf, I move it over towards the bathroom a little more because the Sims couldn't get around it. So I had to move it over. 
adding some more decorations around the house. Very decor oriented. Uh, I was kind of checking out some of the new build mode items too because I hadn't checked out all of them. This is a really cool thing that I like to do is I like to use those decals and make a design and those are really cheap so it's like a nice little modern decoration. Put a little mirror in the corner. I really like these chairs. They're kind of like bean bags but I don't know. They're really cool and I use them outside because um, the view in this house off the front is freaking amazing. So I feel like you'd want to like sit and look at the view and maybe swim around a little bit. Um, adding in the bed here, you do use the cheapest bed because obviously it's a starter home and I don't have very much wiggle room. Um, those are some new posters. I thought they looked pretty modern and cool right above the bed. There's some lights. And I put some shelves. In the end, I think I put some shelves on the bed. I don't know if I do it in this, but um, next to the bed, kind of like their little bedside tables. Um, and the the Sims can very easily get into the bed. I also tested that. Adding some rugs around the place. The bathroom's pretty cheap, yeah. Um, kind of like a black accent theme. I was going to make it all black, but I didn't really like how it looked. So I kind of put it back. Adding some black accents around the place. And a little towel rack there. As I said, lots of detail in this house, which I think is really nice for a starter home. It is quite expensive, but you get a lot in a starter home. Here, so I get the shelf. So I do put the shelf in. So yeah, you can see I put that as a little bedside table. I really like the look of that. And it, they don't take too much room, and it looks pretty modern and sleek. Um, here I am adding out, kind of, I do very minimal landscaping. Adding some more, kind of like that bluish color around the pool. Minimal landscaping, nice, that nice rock thing around that. I thought it looked pretty modern. And I put a little tree, do a little bit more landscaping. Smoothing it out, make it look very angular and symmetrical. Adding a little step up there so you can your sims can actually get into the house. Because if they could not get into the house, it would be pretty useless. Um, so yeah, I think this is about it. Just move the house around. The screenshots are going to come up pretty soon. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And have an awesome day. And goodbye.